What's up, water signs? I'm Austria, Avon Bother Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Sun Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, to give you guys a general um, shadow message here for messages from your shadow self. Okay, um, and I forgot before I started this to pull out the book, but I got it now. Okay. All right, so we're going to start by getting what part of your, um, what part of you the shadow sign represents, okay? Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So, that's so, oh, that's so like, oh, because you guys are a water sign, so it's like empathy, okay. Um, how um, have you been ignored by water sign spirit how have you been ignored all right what aspect of their life do you affect all right and what are they meant to learn from you what are they meant to learn from you got the overall message of grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it and guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so that's your underlying message like maybe you don't deal with grief well is what i'm overall getting like you have a issue letting go of things not necessarily like on some petty shit but more so like um letting situations just die down like understanding that maybe somebody isn't for you and leaving those people where they are maybe not so much on that i could have sworn i let y'all deck out and i did look and i did okay okay so let's go ahead and see why is empathy your spirit? Why is empathy here? Why is empathy here? All right. Yeah, we have um, courting, which is the lovers in the reverse. All right, so this is in the sense of loss and disappointment, which is what I was just saying here. So when people feel sad, you are very empathetic of that. Um, and that is your shadow self helping you here. But don't try to fix everyone's issues here is what I'm getting. Yeah, see, you need to make sure that you are like grounding yourself and you are also um protecting yourself from their negative or they may not even necessarily mean to be negative but it's like their negative energy that's coming towards you make sure that you're keeping yourself at bay from that because you don't want that you don't want that shit rubbing off on on you coming towards your way you know what i'm saying definitely giving me that energy of like trying to really I'm getting like you're you're taking on people with demons and shit like that. Like not necessarily demons, but you know what I mean. Taking on people's negativity and then it's bogging you down, putting you in a place of depression or feeling negative and things like that. You cannot do that, okay? Let's see how they've been ignored. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So maybe you are doubting yourself here. Or you feel like you have to know a lot of all situations before you go into it. Why is doubt here, spirit? Why is doubt here? Mother of sticks here. So it's like... Um, I'm getting a lot of you doubting yourself. Like, you guys could be manifesting shit and you're thinking, like, it's not going to come to be. Um, just a lot of negative self-talk here. You need to stop that. You know, I understand that it's easier said than done, but I'm definitely getting a lot of negative self-talk to yourself. But this also could be because, be because you're not cleansing your space here or cleansing your energy. All right. Yeah. 
because this is the world card here, which is 21. You have to, yeah, this is basically saying stop that, but it's also saying you have to um, ground yourself and be one with the earth so that you're not, okay, so you're not um, recycling that energy. And since you are empathetic, you could be giving that energy, that negativity, instead of cleansing it and it just, you know, um, removing itself and, you know, going into the ether, you're like giving it to someone else. And like, you may be doing that unknowingly here. Um, that is so fucking specific. Yeah. But you could definitely be giving it to someone else here. Let's get what aspects of their life what aspects of your life they affect perseverance yeah this comes back to being doubtful of yourself um and this says i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to yeah this comes back to you being doubtful of yourself they affect this part because you are doubting yourself like once you like since you're doubting yourself and that's how you're ignoring them by doubting yourself because they're here to help you persevere you know through your empathy why is perseverance your spirit commitment you need i'm sorry the higher font which is commitment towards energy but this is also you having a certain commitment to yourself like a deal to yourself or what you expect from yourself you get what i'm saying having a whole like how can i say this okay having a certain level of commitment that you're going to put in the same effort for yourself as you put in for other people because i'm getting the sense that you you work very hard when it comes to helping other people showing out for other people but you're not really working as hard for yourself yeah daughter of coins this is all about definitely um giving that effort and being very hard working when it comes to other people yeah ace of coins and it's like you have a lot of opportunities that are about to come up for you so you need to make sure that you're looking out for them and putting forth your best effort and not allowing your doubt of yourself to keep you from fucking moving forward here all right honesty i on i can't always expect the truth from others but i can always expect it from myself and that is what you're meant to learn from them to be honest to yourself like yeah it's okay to have realistic goals, but you shouldn't doubt yourself once those goals are in place. Once you have um, the mindset that you're going to do something, you shouldn't be doubting yourself. Okay, let's see. Two of knives. Yeah, this is all about having clarity and making decisions. Like I just said, come through fucking spirit. Um, yeah, ten of knives in the reverse. Yes, for new beginnings, all about transforming here, but not being in that victim mode, not feeling like I can't do this because something was done to me. You know, feeling like I can push through because I'm that motherfucker. You know, like period. Yes, do not be afraid of the unknown or having any type of new beginnings here with the full card in the in the back. Because I'm getting the sense that you could be afraid of moving forward here. Do not be don't be like at all all right let's get what i want to do first i guess i'll do these first all right and this is just an oracle card from the dark mirror oracle and please be sure to like share comment and subscribe and this is just an oracle card for you i always give it to you guys i kind of bought these for this reason because spirit gave me the um the inclination that I need to do shadow messages. Um, so there, look, here I am. All right, it says black flower fragrance and it's the number 16. All right, and we have fragmentation in the back. So like not breaking yourself up into pieces, but I'm not gonna do this one. I'm gonna do only 17 here. Oh, 16, why did I say 17? Mm, okay. It's crazy because 17 is forgetting oneself. And it says the stage is denial. So, wow. But anyways, we have Black Flower Fragrance. Oh, stuff. And it says, 
the world is unfair fuck off dear world fuck you come through come through okay i'm already here for this shit a um okay i'm sorry if we want to go dark go black don't stop to the evening but embrace the night love is not a white dove not it i'm sorry nor it turns sorry nor it turns people into angels love can be ugly love can be cheap love can be rotten but even ugly love has a right to exist even cheap love can raise to the sky even rotten love has the dignity of of eternity even a black rose by any other name should still smell as sweet. Even if you are wrong, you will have the right to be angry. Even if you, I'm sorry, even if you're not perfect, you have the right to be respected. Even if you are stupid, you have the right to be listened to. Even if you are lucky, you have the right to complain. Even if you are rich, you have the right to be sad. If you cannot shine because you are beautiful, then shine even if you are ugly. Shine because you are ugly, glor I'm sorry, gorgeously black, ugly as love, worn out as an angel, cheap as a crown, unconquered as a fra I'm sorry, unconquered as a fragrance in the night. Come through. Be yourself. Cause yourself is the shit. And it's the full moon is the phase. Okay, which is the energy for Cancer and Pisces. They go back and forth with that Pisces shit, though. But anyway, um, and this stage is anger here. Okay. Mm. All right, let's get let's get some self help cards, and then we're gonna get some um, affirmations here. Okay, we got deep breathing, number 19. So that's how you need to be letting things go and grounding yourself here. All right, we also have meditate. Yeah, and it's number 35. And you see she outside. Look, I'm outside. Then we got watch a movie, 54. So we got 8, 9, 10. Okay, now. Then we have massage. Oh my goodness. And it's 34 7. Mm hmm. So definitely follow the beat of your own drum. I'm, okay, look up the spirit number one, two, three, four. You guys, definitely look that up. And I want to get you some affirmations here. All right. Few concise messages for water, sun, signs, please, spirit. Thank you. All right, so we have, I advance through my own abilities, right? Because you got this. All right, and we have, I praise the goddess and the God. And then we just see something about seeing like both sides of dark and the night. Yes, that's exactly what the shit just said. Yes. Okay, I act respectfully to others. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for your love and support, Water Signs. I definitely do appreciate it. And I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.